in this module we will discuss about mutation its basic features and detection of mutation mutation is defined as heritable changes in the genetic material mutation is classified mainly into two types spontaneous and induced spontaneous mutation means naturally occurring mutations so naturally occurring occurring mutations are very rare which may be produced by some external agents spontaneous mutations are further classified into two types somatic and germinal that is those mutations are produced in somatic cells are called somatic mutations and those are in germinal cells are called germinal mutations mutation could be induced by physical and chemical agents physical agents like x ray gamma ray cosmic ray etc or some chemical agents which can also cause mutation such as ethane methane sulfonate hydrogen peroxide and there is a plenty of chemical agents are there which cause mutation mutation could be induced by radiations now with radiation mutation can be induced by ionization and this ionizing radiations are gamma ray x ray etc which produce mutation by forming the ions or it is called ionization on the other hand non ionizing radiations such as uv ray and electromagnetic radiations now in electromagnetic radiations which are very common in your that is the radiations emitted from our cell phones also from towers that is the uh, transmission towers and uv ray which is also present in our in sun ray so these are non ionizing radiations now in case of radiation induced mutations mutation is produced by one ionization that is formation of ions when a x ray photon strikes an atom this electrons come out and this electron subsequently strikes the another atom in this way a chain reaction forms and multiple ions are developed and as a result of which the reactions chemical reactions occur and they produce mutations on the other hand in case of your excitation that is a by uv ray so uv ray produce mutations by excitations where electrons of the outer orbit of the atom are raised to the higher energy level and as a result of which thymine dimers are produced it is called dimerization so due to your uv ray thymine dimers are produced and it affects the replication pattern of dna and ultimately it cause mutation so these are the main way by which mutations are produced now how this mutation could be detected so hg muller harman g muller he has devised one experiment in the year 1926 this is called clb technique he carried out this experiment in drosophila now in this method he has first shown by this method he has first shown that x ray produced mutation for this classical experiment he was awarded nobel prize in physiology and medicine in the year 1946 and he has first shown that x ray produced mutation in his drosophila stock that 
there is a female, it is called CLB female. It has three components. One is crossover suppressor, recessive lethal and bar eye. Crossover suppressor, it is an inversion which prevent recombinations. Then there is a recessive lethal gene and a bar eye phenotype by which a drosophila could be detected. In the first cross, he has crossed a CLB female with X-ray irradiated drosophila male. In the first generation, he has obtained CLB female which potentially carry a irradiated X chromosome, irradiated X chromosomes. CLB male dies due to the expression of lethal genes because normal alleles are not present in the Y chromosome. And other females and males survive. In the second cross, he has crossed CLB daughter with wild type male. Now, this CLB daughter it carries a potentially irradiated X chromosomes which has got a mutations, which is supposed to get a mutation. Now, in this cross, he has obtained in the F2 generations, generations that is all female and no male. So, here inference is that, that if X-ray produce mutation, then the male, all male will dies. Here CLB males dies and if X-ray induce mutation, then normal or wild type male also die. As a result of which it shows that X-ray induce mutations and there is an all females will survive. So, from this experiment, H.J. Muller first shown that X-ray produce mutation and this is the one of the most important classical experiment to detect mutation. There is key concepts and module summary are given. Books for reading. Thank you for attending our online course.